Hi friends, Andy Vegan. I make a juice today because it's my gentle juice fasting day. Uh, once a week I do that in the average and I only drink liquids like water. I begin with water um, then of course um, have a tea or um, juice, a fresh juice. And I make a broth. I drink lots of four liter um, half to drink. I, I know that because of experience. But I drink four liter whatever it is, then um, I get no headache. Yeah. So cleansing with a juice fasting is a, um, sometimes a stress for the body because um, when you don't eat enough calories, uh, that is fasting, is reducing calories for a day, for example. It begins with a day, the definition of fasting or so. 24 hours, they say, the medical science. Because then the uh, metabolic changes, so how you gain, how you, the body uh, produces energy, gains energy, that way is changed after 24 hours. Because usually um, we pause every day at night, we don't digest, the body restores itself, yeah? metabolism changes. But when you do it longer, um, then the fasting begins, longer than the night, I mean, 24 hours. And on that day, I only drink, I make these juices to make it delicious. Yeah? The, the digestion pauses, the body has a longer time to cleanse, yeah? to restore everything. And um, there's a natural thing, because before we were in the industrialized age, people never had food every day. It was normal, usually. I mean, it was normal that you only eat every other day or have a Two, two, two days pause or fasting periods. Fasting is, is part of all the cultures on the planet. Everywhere people fast occasionally and it's uh, about cleansing of course, uh, purification uh, and so disciplining yourself. But there's a good reason because we had to fast because now in industrialized age we have food every day in many countries and um, the fasting is still a wonderful thing because that cleansing I do it every day for, for, for years, decades now. Uh, I change the way of fasting. Basically now, the best way to me is uh, the easiest way. Just one day, everybody can do it. If you're on a medication uh, or feel health, unhealthy or so, if you feel great and healthy, then you can fast and nothing happens. You have to drink a lot because even after one day already, the kidneys can, for example, be pushed. Uh, they have to um, eliminate a lot of stuff and... Um, I mean, don't drink enough, it can be stressful for the, for the, for the kidney, even after one day. So, um, if you drink enough, I guess it's okay, and the medical science also, I think, pretty much um, call with that. Yeah? And um, these, these uh, fasting days, to me, are so easy because it is easy to do, and I drink juices to make it a great feeling. I don't feel uh, pressure. Yeah? pressure or stress yeah? um, and, and that would also mm, impact, yeah? negatively impact uh, the results because uh, health or inner healing begins when the body is not as, as stress free, you know, when there is no stress on the body. Otherwise the nerve system uh, switches to the fight and flight mode. Yeah? In the fight and flight mode uh, you don't digest uh, it, uh, you don't heal, yet you are all about uh, defending yourself, or running away. Yeah? That is a very high alert. Um, it shouldn't be too much. If it gets too much, it is stress. Uh, and that is very unhealthy. So, but uh, on fasting day, I try to avoid that. I try to stay calm, as generally in my life. I try to stay calm and smile and happy. Uh, I stay to, like to say, to say, try to stay in myself. Uh, and then the body also is ready to heal itself all the time. On a fasting day, especially because the senses are so, you know, alert, yeah? the awareness is heightened because um, you don't digest the food. There is no food to digest, so a lot of energy uh, remains um, in the body for other purposes. For example, the senses get more alert. Yeah? The awareness is higher, yeah? and you f I feel what I eat better. My body understands what it is, what it eats. 
and so forth. Yeah, these kind of things are uh, sensitivity is higher and creativity. That's good if you don't have to cleanse too much. Cleansing can be also stressful. The body cleanses itself. It can be a little bit stress. And then to avoid that or to balance that, I just eat something. When it gets too much, I just have a little bit more calories, like uh, maybe you have a smoothie with fiber, the digestion gets to work a little bit more, or a uh, light soup or light salad. These kind of things make, can make it easier. You still have fasting, but you make it a little bit more gentle. Uh, in order to keep the body happy yeah, and the mind, to put the stress away, yeah, uh, that is my recipe. And it is uh, in accordance to the nonviolent lifestyle, the, the gentle lifestyle. Not harming others or myself as a vegan, obviously, that is um, my objective. It's very important. And it's the most economic way to live, also, to avoid these uncontrollable things like violence. Is, is always a, a moment of uncontrol when something can go wrong. Always you use violence. It's my experience. I, I try to avoid it all the time. Also, my mind, thinking, uh, be positive. That's a very important thing. And that makes this gentle juice fasting so so easy to and to maintain uh, to to maintain for everybody uh, over a longer time and because then I get deeper and deeper into this cleansing. Sometimes some things are hidden deep inside. For decades, uh, I've been um, putting that away uh, out of my awareness, doing other things, didn't notice. And when you fast all the time, constantly, one day a week, over a month and years and decades go deeper and deeper and to find these things. It's so interesting. Yeah? It's not a stress, but it's very interesting. It's very intense, uh, but I, I do it not a stressful way. There are strong in, in experiences there. Uh, I don't go into detail now. It's my personal journey. Yeah? But I just gen in general, if I do it smoothly, uh, gentle, all the time, for me, it's the best and most, most effective way to do this. And this in general with my life. I try to organize that in that way, to be moderate, and steady and do it all the time with a good, uh, a good, good, a good start. And try to figure out what to do exactly, and then keep keep doing it. Yeah. Now I make this juice recipe, and it is a new recipe. I was going to be creative on fasting, especially making a recipe because uh, I'm a little more, ex ex a little more aware of these days. It's a good day to do that, and juices are a great way to explore the the ingredients, how they play together. My latest one was here, always here since weeks, for months now, a celery stalk. I had a celery here, that is. Clean it a little bit with the greens, everything. Now, it's a very healthy food, celery, but it has a very strong flavor. There is a potassium in the celery. Potassium is, um, so to say, the opposite or the counterpart of this, um, what is in table salt. Uh, that sodium is called, I think. And if you have the, uh, the, 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 the potassium instead, the blood pressure is, is balanced, as low. Where if you eat salt, yeah, the blood pressure goes up. And that's one of the most dangerous things we do when you overdo the salt. Yeah, and most people do that because of the food we can't purchase. It's always salty because that's what people want to eat. <laughs> also, that's part of our history. Why? It doesn't matter now. But uh, many people have uh, diseases because of that. High blood pressure is one of the most important ones, and salt is connected with that. And if you eat potassium from the um, celery, celery is salty, tastes salty, but not from salt, from this potassium. A very healthy uh, vegetable. And usually I use it for um, seasoning my soups, my smoothies, my juices, but now I found I can drink it on its own, celery juice. That's really pretty new to me because it has a very strong flavor. It can be very intense, smoky flavor. Not bitter, but it's very harsh in, in a way. But if you put it right in the context with other ingredients, it can be so delicious and refreshing. The first thing I did was I used two apples here, two sour apples. Um, a sour apple, let's say, with um, celery stalks, just that, and a little bit of lemon. I have a lemon here too today. One lemon. Yeah. That was my basic um, celery juice. Yeah. Celery stalks, sour apple, and lemon. That was a perfect combination. Yeah. You got to check it out. It's a couple of a couple of months ago I, I made that recipe, and since then I have tried other recipes with the celery stalk. That's how I make my recipes. I have an ingredient that I'm interested in, and I try to combine with other ingredients. 
and I have used celery before. For example, I use celery always in the cucumber uh, uh, juice as a little bit of a by seasoning. Today it's the other way around. I use the cucumber to season the celery juice. <laughs> here I have a cucumber here. You see one in little sticks because the sticks are uh, fit into the blender in the juicer. And also, what's nice, ready before, I uh, blend, juiced it together with um, pear and kiwi. A very fascinating combination to me. Kiwis are also super healthy. Three kiwis here and a large pear. Yeah. This is sweet, a little bit bitter. This is uh, very um, high vitamin C and super healthy, the kiwi. You see with the peel and uh, juicing, it doesn't matter. The peel is, um, is um, you take out the peel uh, um, with the juicer. The filter takes out everything that is a coarse textures. Is taken a filter out so there's no problem and you have the more nutrients under the peel directly are most of the nutrients if you can uh, keep the peel it's always better if it's not it doesn't taste well so then of course uh, get rid of it for some reason or other reasons so kiwi and pear is a nice combination and um, what i also do is um i show you already lemon lemon and ginger that is a combination i add to many of my recipes i found um, it's very positive. It um, uh, intensifies uh, the other flavors. It brings forth the natural flavors of the other ingredients. It is like something like a, a salt also. When you, when you season a, a dish with salt, put some salt on, usually you enhance the other flavors. Similar things happen with lemon and ginger. Um, ginger, for example, has a fire element. It makes the other ingredients nutrients better absorbable. Now, ginger has a super amount of, of positive influences for the body in a dish, in food. It's anti-inflammatory, very strong, and helps with fighting diseases and makes the body healthier. And fire is very, very fire strong and, and helps also to get the nutrients in from the other ingredients. Makes the other ingredients more nutritious, so to say. And the lemon is more antioxidant. It is a, a something that keeps um, the body from decay. And also it keeps the pears and the apples from getting brown. Yeah? It keeps it fresh, antioxidant, anti-decay, so to say. It does the same to the body. So um, I will see if I can use a little bit of the lemon peel again here. The peel uh, can be uh, very healthy um, and delicious, but it can also be bitter, especially when I have greens here in the dish. Greens, has, in general, they have a bitter flavor to them. And that needs to be balanced because the bitter is the cleansing element. That's also why greens are so healthy, because the cleansing of the intestines and so. But also, um, the, the greens have to be balanced because when it's too bitter, you don't like it. The, the, animal, the plants to produce uh, bitter flavors uh, to fend off um, um, the, uh, the enemies, the eating enemies. The, the plants are eaten by animals. When they are not bitter, especially, <laughs> then the plants produce bitter flavors, <laughs> bitter nutrients, finer nutrients that are bitter, to stop the animals from eating them. <laughs> um, but when you balance it nicely, the bitter flavor are very important to make a uh, flavor round and, and delicious, but not too much. So that's why I try now to play a little bit with the lemon peel. It's the healthiest part of a lemon, but it can be very bitter and intense, and then it ruins the other flavors, uh, the, the whole flavor. Very powerful. So I will juice that now. I come back in a moment when the juice is done and I taste it in front of you. Let's see. This is my juice now. It's more than a liter. It's 1.7 maybe. It's a lot of juice. And I added one more apple because I had three apples, three small apples before, so now I have four, one more. I think it's a little bit better, more rounded, more juice, more fruity. It was before that, there was a lot of um, cucumber and celery, and that made it a little bit too much to the veggie side. So that is always when we make a veggie juice, <clears throat> I will always, usually, add fruit. Mm, exceptions, carrot, maybe you don't need to can but maybe carrot is an example for how you can make a wonderful veggie juice without a fruit there's a lot of sweetness in carrots the easiest juice maybe 
is a carrot juice, a classic also. Uh, but with other juice, especially greens, you, I do often add uh, fruit, ratio one to one. Here it was a little bit more on the veggie side, so I added a little more apple and now I guess it's right, it's nice. I taste it now once again, uh, after doing all these um, little... But I, I, one more thing, I, I added also one or two pieces of this peel and um, it's a nice, a little bit, have a little bit of tartness in it, but only a small amount, would not put more. I begin to notice that flavor that is done too much. And you know, right now with two slices or so, it's large slices, that's enough. Not even half a lemon peel. Usually I begin with a small slice and add more and then I notice I guess too much. Shouldn't be too much. So let's taste it now. The final result. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this uh, the fruity part is nicely balanced now with the veggie part, with the bitter part. And with this, not only bitter, but there's many flavors. Let me show you what it looks like. You see the color is light green. It's a broken green. It's usually with celery so juices, where even runnier sometimes. But the pear here and the other fruit, they make it creamier, like this. To me, that's a perfect juice. Uh, wonderful, very powerful. Celery and green juices are very powerful. They're cleansing, energizing. The wake up juices or the red juices, the peach juices are rather are giving energy over, over time. So they make more strength, um, not this wake up. This is more rather endurance way. Uh, they are all, all different, yeah. I love beet juices too, and carrot juices also. They are a little bit like a beet juice from the, uh, the power um, energy, but the green juice is really wake up and energizing, um, cleansing uh, strongly. Uh, our healthiest f f uh, food, the greens, also in juices, were recommended. And you can make endless variety. What you have left over is this. This is the so-called fiber, the pulp, mostly the fiber. That what co makes uh, the food digested in the intestine, makes the intestine work. That is something very healthy in the food. If you leave it away, you have no healthy food. Yeah. It's only in plants, uh, fiber that makes the plants stand up, uh, give the shape to the plants. Every plant has a different fiber. These fibers are crucial for our health. On a fasting day, I take it out. That's the pause, you know, and I don't digest. That's what re remains out of the juice then. And it can go into the garden, just dig it into a hole, uh, just behind, below the surface, and the plants love it. They, they thrive on that. Very good. Um, otherwise, when I don't have a garden, I, I just put it away. Uh, um, there's not much flavor left in it. The flavor is in here, the nutrients yeah, in here, mostly. But there are nutrients that are um, uh, separated, produced, so to say, uh, in the intestines when you eat the fiber. Very important nutrients, or many also of the uh, phytonutrients are connected to the fiber. When you take them out, that is clear. Those, the juice is not a healthy food uh, on a regular day. That has to be whole food, of course. But on a fasting day, it's different. The metabolism is different. Um, let the scientists uh, talk about that. I don't know. There are different opinions about that. I love my fasting days. They are very light, give me a light feeling on that day. I'll save a lot of time. I enjoy these wonderful flavors. I explore the ingredients in a way I couldn't do it on a regular day. And many of these uh, juices is inspire also other recipes on regular days. So I will drink that now slowly, of course, because no digestion means the nutrients go right into the bloodstream. If I drink it too fast, the blood, the blood sugar can spike, and that is not so good for the for the um, for the body, for the health. It gets confused. The insulin begins to sp uh, be released, and so not so good. So drink it slowly. I drink it slowly, like on a regular day when I eat my food also slowly, sip uh, bite by bite and also here, sip by sip. And um, the most important I drink in that I drink enough. Yeah. To me that is four liters, maybe for everybody else different. And tomorrow um, I begin to eat again and I have to be controlled there too because my body wants to make up for the calories I took away from him today. <laughs> the body wants to have the same calories all the time or more. And so I have to be a little bit disciplined. Um, to not overeat on the next day, or maybe the second day too. So the body has a very strong memory for that. 
and there's a little bit of discipline needed on the breaking of the fast it's called to break the fast is a very important moment to make the fasting really uh, good and effective but it will have a lot of benefits I have to keep it up on the next day not eating too much <laughs> and then everything is great and the next next week I begin again okay that's it thanks for watching I hope you enjoy if you like like my video subscribe to MDV on YouTube have another recipe every single day and find me on Facebook Instagram Pinterest and X and there's a fasting uh, page also on Facebook called Tree Yoga Moon Fasting. Tree Yoga is the yoga style uh, that brought the flow. Yogini Kaiji was the founder, is the founder, <laughs> and she um, um, brings the flow into yoga. It wasn't there before, and the flow is also um, non-violent. Yeah? To live a non-violent lifestyle, to live in the flow, to live a gentle, compassionate lifestyle, that is um, something I learned from her, many people and on the world and on the planet and that, that's why we call that uh, yoga page uh, Tree Yoga Moon Fasting. Tree Yoga is that yoga style uh, for the flow. Let's all stay in the flow together. See you soon.